Already in 2024, several drivers have lost their lives in several high profile wrong way crashes on major central Florida roads, including the 429, which is part of the Central Florida Expressway Authority, the public agency that operates the toll roads and has been at the forefront of wrong way technology since 2015. It's getting results, but it can be better. And as News 6 anchor Eric Von Aiken discovered, it is getting better protecting our community. The Central Florida Expressway Authority's wrong way warning and detection technology works like these lighted wrong way signs that send messages to troopers and overhead billboards instantaneously, turning wrong way drivers around a remarkable 87% of the time. But as we continue to see, it's not 100%. So the Expressway Authority got together with its consultant and the engineers at UCF to try and figure out what more could they do and discovered there was a company out there that had just invented these IRPMs, illuminated raised pavement markers. The company was looking for somebody to test drive these, so they donated a whole bunch of these to the Expressway Authority. If you're going down the wrong way of a ramp, you'll see those lights. That these will be, LEDs are just pointing, LEDs in one are direction. pointing in one direction, Always. and that's the wrong way. Brian Hutchings, you are the public information officer for the Central Florida Expressway Authority. You meet regularly to try and solve this problem. Correct. So then the engineers wondered, how do they stop drivers from turning onto the wrong ramp in the first place from the access road? In this case, Old Winter Garden Road. They came up with three solutions. First is to paint arrows in the street telling drivers to go straight. Second is to put those same arrows, but this time in green, up on the traffic signals. Third is these things, making it almost impossible for drivers to make this left turn going the wrong way, even if they wanted to. You can't get on the ramp now. I mean, it's, it's physically blocking. Yeah, and as you can see, it's not all high tech. When do you know if these new things are getting results? Well, that's where our partners at UCF and their research team come into play here. So they'll be analyzing data over the next two years to see how this is performing. The research component is critical to the overall success of trying to get to 100% no wrong way driving incidences. If in fact all of this is getting results, the Expressway Authority will install all of this at all of its exit ramps. That's 88 across Central Florida. Protecting our community in Orange County, I'm Eric Von Anken getting results. News 6. It seems like they're doing everything they possibly can, and yeah. it's still not 100%, but, you know, even one of those. As long as they're many. trying, yeah, right? Yeah, and, and, I, and it is on the radar because... It does happen it so often. And, and it's you... always so frustrating when you see Oh, my that gosh. Happen. And it's, if it can be prevented, awful. gosh, why not? Yeah.